Tips for buying new construction in Summerlin. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. roll. everyone welcome back to my channel i'm angela o'hare your favorite las vegas realtor and i have psychic damien <laughs> <laughs> damien a realtor in training um and by the time you watch this video he may be already a realtor or may not we'll see if he passes his test or not <laughs> just kidding <laughs> so Welcome to my Summerlin series, and in this series, we're going to talk about giving you tips for buying new construction in Summerlin. Are you looking to buy a new construction home in Summerlin? In this video, we'll be going over a few tips for buyers before they purchase their dream home in Summerlin. Exactly. I'm your new home sales expert in Summerlin. I sell a lot of new construction in Summerlin, so I thought this video would be good advice for you when you're ready to buy a new construction home. And what? Summerlin. Summerlin. <laughs> right? So here are some great tips to ensure that your home buying experience is smart and most importantly, strategic. And the number one smart tip is to hire your own real estate agent. Right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> the builders have their own agents, but guess who they represent? They represent the builders. Mm -hmm. They don't represent you. They can very well do the contract and everything, but they're not looking out for your best interests like a real estate agent would be. Um, it's very important that you hire your own real estate agent because one, we're free. <laughs> free. Yes. So I always use this analogy. Would you go to court without having a lawyer? Would you? Mm, no, I think I'd handle, let the professionals handle it. Yeah. So you want a professional on your side to go through an entire transaction. I'm not the type of agent that's one and done. I will be with you through every step of the process, going through um, all the different inspections and walkthroughs and everything. So number one, hire your own real estate agent. Now number two is get pre-approved for a home loan. Uh, before you ever begin to consider buying a new construction home, you should get pre-approved for a home loan by a lender. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And that way you know what your purchasing power is. That way you're not wasting anyone's time. That you know, even though you may not use that lender, you may use the builder's lender to get those great incentives, it's important to know how much you can actually afford. Mm -hmm. Now number three is ask about any additional fees which could be your monthly HOA fees and or SIDS. Now, when you buy in Summerlin, you have SIDS. I'm not going to go over what SIDS are because I think I've covered it in every freaking video that I've done. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but when you buy a new construction home in Summerlin, you will have SIDS and you will have a monthly HOA. More than likely, you will have two HOAs. You will have Summerlin West HOA or Summerlin South, depending on what part of Summerlin you're buying in, which is $57 a month. Then you'll have another HOA for that community. More than likely, that community will be gated. Mm -hmm. Now, number four is you want to make a list of the must-haves. Yeah, it's important to know how many bedrooms you want, how many square feet you want, um, if you want a single story or two story, if you want a condo or a townhouse. It's important to know what exactly type of home you're looking for and not be wishy-washy. You know, do you want a single family home? Do you want it single story or two story? Or if it's two story, do you want the primary bedroom downstairs? Mm -hmm. So a lot of things that you want on your wish list. Now, number five is you want to do your homework in the area that you're interested in. Yeah, it's important to know what types of schools are around that area, how those schools rank, what type of shopping is nearby, all the conveniences that we like to have, what is around that area that you're going to be purchasing in. Mm -hmm. And now number six is build from ground up or you can buy a move-in ready home. Exactly. So what you could do is buy what's called a move-in ready home or a quick move-in home where all the upgrades have been selected and all you do is just move in in a month after 30 days of closing. Okay. Or you can build from ground up where you get to choose all your upgrades um, from the flooring, the countertops, the the. Uh, electrical packages, mm -hmm. everything you can choose to your liking. So decide, do you want to buy a quick move in or do you want to build from ground up? Now, number seven is build time. 
Yeah, that's important. So if you decide not to buy a quick move in home and you want to build from ground up, you need to ask the builder, how long is it going to take for the home to build? Typical build time is anywhere between seven to 12 months. And it also depends on the builder. Some builders take a lot longer than others. So it's important to know build time. Now, just because they give you an estimated completion date mm -hmm. doesn't mean if you're renting somewhere or if you're selling your house that you do that when they say completed make sure that once it's, you have the keys in hand and you move in is when you would put your notice in for your landlord because i've had clients in the past where um the build time was supposed to be done in may and it wasn't done they put in their notice for their rent they had to be moved out so then they had to move into a different place mm -hmm. until their home was done so uh it's very important to know build time but don't rely on that build time because there are can be delays mm -hmm. and then uh, number eight actually goes along with build time right which is you know what is the builder's track record that's number eight yeah it's important to do your research of all the home builders in southern nevada look at their google reviews see what they have to say um what builders have issues with construction defects etc do your homework on what are the best builders in the las vegas valley I mean, this is a simple video, short and sweet. These are the top eight things you need to consider and plan on when you're buying a new construction home in Summerlin. Perfect, yes. Yeah. If you are interested in buying a new construction home, you can always reach out to me at... 370-5112. But what's before that? 702 area code. 317 <laughs> 5002. He's doing that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Don't confuse the people. Tell them straight. All right. 702-370-5112. Yay. <laughs> he knows my number. Ooh, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> or I've posted a buyer form down in the description below. I've also posted a link to this as a blog post. So if you want to see it in writing, I have it linked to my website. If you would like to see what types of homes are available, especially the quick move-ins or resale homes in Summerlin, you can always go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com. But um bum bum. <laughs> I visit all the time. You can find everything you want there. But make sure you like and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Are you looking to buy a new construction home in Summerlin? In this article, Hold on. we'll go... It should be video. Oh. Was, the article is for the blog post. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 okay. okay. And also, if you want to learn or search for homes in Summerlin, not only just new construction or resale, go to my website at... Uh, my my Las Vegas neighborhoods. Oh, whoops. Neighborhoods.com. Neighborhoods in Las Vegas.com. All right. So if you 